Okay, let's graph some logarithmic functions. So we want to graph log base five of x and then log base one fifth of x in just a second. Uh, we'll identify some key points, the domain range and vertical asymptote of each one of these. So first of all, log base five of x. I always find this easiest to pick out the key points first, plot those, and then we can talk about the rest of it in a second. But the key points on all of these logarithmic functions are going to be the base comma one, and then one comma zero. Now why these work out as key points are if we wanted to plug in a five in for our x, what we end up having is that's five raised to the first power on the inside. Because logarithmic functions and exponential functions are inverses one another, we've kind of lined up our bases so that we get this nice canceling out with the inverse function property. You're only gonna be left with the exponent remaining. Okay, the other uh, one is if we plugged in a one, that's a little bit trickier to see, but if you plug in a one, hopefully we're all kind of getting more comfortable with our exponent rule that says anything raised to the zero power is equivalent to one. So you could rewrite the one as five to the zero power, kind of lining up the same base on the inside as we have with the logarithmic part. And that's why you're gonna be left with the exponent again, and your output is gonna be a zero. Anyway, let's get to jumping into graphing these. So we have one zero, go ahead and plot our point there, and then five one. The rest of this graph, we're gonna get very close to the y axis. Here, we're gonna get a vertical asymptote there, and then it's gonna go off here to the right-hand side. So the domain, as you can see on this, is gonna be only positive values. So we can say from zero to infinity, we're only allowed to plug in positive values into a logarithmic function as well. The range, even though it doesn't seem to be increasing quickly out here on the right-hand side, this continues increasing without bound to the right-hand side. So we'd say it goes down forever and up forever. So negative infinity to positive infinity. And then our vertical asymptote. As you can see on this, the vertical asymptote is gonna be at the y-axis. So we'd use x equals zero for an equation for that vertical asymptote. Next, let's move on to log base one fifth of x. Now you could use for the key points one fifth comma one and one comma zero. But there's one additional key point that I like to use whenever our base here is between zero and one. And that key point is use its reciprocal. So the reciprocal instead of one over five, we're gonna go five over one, which is equivalent to five comma negative one. Um, so I'm going to use these two key points, the one zero and the five comma negative one. I can put this on here, but it's a little bit more difficult to plot points that aren't integers, right? That one fifth is going to be a little bit more difficult to plot. It's uh, one fifth of the way between zero and one, then up here at one. One zero, pretty easy to plot. And then five negative one, it's going to be a point down here. Then as we graph this, this is gonna get very close to the y axis, but never quite get there. And then it's gonna be decreasing forever as we move off to the right-hand side. I can clean this up a little bit and make it a slightly better graph, but just do your best. If you're using an online homework system, it'll make life easier and make a nice graph for you. But I would very much so encourage you use these two key points, one zero and five negative one if you're plotting a few points to get this graph. All right, now the domain, you're only allowed to plug in positive values into the, a logarithmic function. So we're gonna say zero to infinity. Our range goes from negative infinity to positive infinity on every one of these logarithmic functions. And then our vertical asymptote. The vertical asymptote is right here at the y-axis. It always starts on these logarithmic functions with the parent function, like we're graphing right here at the y-axis and sometimes we move it around using transformations. But in this case, it's gonna be at x equals zero is the equation of this vertical line at the y-axis. So I hope this helps out on getting some key points and plotting them uh, to get graphs of logarithmic functions. Good luck.